Hey, it's Lou Brust from EXP Realty in Myrtle Beach. How you all doing today? Um, I got the opportunity to show you a beautiful four bedroom, uh, two and a half bath house. It's at 1537 Southway Drive in Surfside Beach. Now the asking price right now is, let me pull that up quick, uh, $379,000. It's uh, about 2,700 square feet under uh, heat, so I uh, got some good value for the dollar here. But let's uh, take a look inside, see what it is. There's the outside, it's a nice looking home. Uh, it is. I believe it uh, might be Hardy Plank Siding on here. So I'll have to check as I get closer to it. Maybe it's a, a form of vinyl siding, I don't know. But it looks it looks like actually pretty good. The roof is uh, looks really good. Probably new, I'm gonna have to get the uh, information on that. But here's a street. Um, this is in Southwood. Southwood's a nice, quiet community. And Surfside Beach, just off 17, and right behind the Super Walmart. So let's uh, run in and take a quick look. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like a uh, looks like a fiber siding. So chances are it's it's Hardy Plank siding. I like the curved windows as you come in over there. And here are the price of this house is priced to sell as is they're not looking to do any repairs on it um, there's been some stuff done already well, let's see what it needs inside so i don't know if you can tell by the pictures but it's got popcorn ceilings um, you know if you don't like that that could certainly be removed you come in there is a coat closet to the left in the foyer and the formal dining room to the right, and that's just got the nice big window in there. You got some engineered hardwood floors here that run throughout most of the house, and there's also ceramic tile that runs through the wet part of the house as well. So you come in, here's the living room. It's got a nice ceiling fan, cathedral ceilings. And, you know, we're gonna go to the left side first. This is gonna be uh, the owner's suite on this side. That's the smoke detector. You can tell it's uh, at least 10 years old because it starts turning yellow. It's probably original to the house, and I believe this was built in 90s, 94, I think. Let's see. So you come in, and as you come through the door, you're going to get the uh, owner's suite bathroom to the left, and this is towards the front of the house. This is a very, very spacious uh, bathroom. It does have a Jetted soaker tub. Have to check on the workability of that. Things are dirty. This has been vacant for a little while. There's some things going on here. Some uh, plaster or trim missing. Uh, maybe they left the window open. It got a little wet in there. There is a double sink vanity. A couple windows. A walk-in shower. Looks like there's some issues with the windows up here as well. You can see there's some run up there. It looks like very little, but that could just be shower. Some of the ceiling is peeling there. Um, the way to get rid of popcorn ceilings is spray it with water and scrape it off. So here's the toilet room. It's nice to have its own separate room for the toilet. And here's the walk-in closet. It does have some nice built-ins to it. Uh, plenty big. And there's some water damage on the floor here. This looks like it's uh, actual hardwoods. Hmm. No, well, it's a laminate. You can see it's the laminate's uh, a little defacing there. There is no door. Oh, there is a door here. Okay, it goes outward. Is the owner's bedroom. Uh, it's got a little raised ceiling in here. It's got a slider out to the back. Carpet, it's older. Um, it's kind of fuzzy. Looks like it's in serviceable condition. So a nice little uh, patio out here off the owner's bedroom. 
There is a ceiling fan. Okay, now that's all that's on the, this side of the house. Um, from front to back, it's the owner's suite. So we'll go to the other side. Walk past the dining room. Come here, it's a uh, little bit of an issue with the flooring here. There's the kitchen, but we'll explore that after. Come through here, and this is your laundry center here. So you get your, you get a nice closet here, a nice coat closet. Laundry center will be here. Sorry, it's dark. There is a light, but it's probably a very small bowl. And you have the access to the garage right here. It is a two-car garage. It does have access to the outside through here, through a door. It does have a sprinkler system. And the water heater is installed 827.14, so it's about eight years old. Um, I don't see any water in the pan. I don't see any rusting. Little PEX piping up here. It's a good install. Um, should still be serviceable. So we'll run upstairs quickly and we'll see the uh, bonus room. The carpeted stairs. Again, older carpet. It's got some wear in it, as you can see right there. Um, maybe they had a cat scratching under the door. So it's a small room. Uh, could be a nice game room. Could be a bedroom. There is a closet in it. There is no bathroom up here. And through the closet, we'll come here. And here's the attic space. There is uh, room for some storage in here. They put up some shelving. I don't know. It's kind of dark, so it's hard to see. But there is room for... Uh, there is some extra storage space up here. Okay, back down, okay, next to this we have one of the other two bedrooms, smaller bedroom, same carpet as the others, it's got a ceiling fan, a couple windows, Leads into a bathroom that they have here. This is a full bath, ceramic tile floors. It's got a single vanity. It's got a toilet and a tub shower combo. So you got some issues here. And that's just a matter of the water hitting there for the shower. Um, it looks like they did have shower doors on here. I can see the holes that were drilled for the mounting of the doors. I guess they were taken off. And this Jack and Jill's kind of into the uh, other bedroom down here. So both bathrooms will share this. Both bedrooms will share this bathroom. And let's move on, see more of the house. So we come back through the hallway, and then we come into the kitchen area. Kitchen is nice, a nice size. It's got Formica, uh, Formica 